Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris from Dream Media. We got a brand new episode for you today. Today we're in kind of a cool space. Um, it's kind of near and dear to my heart because I actually designed this space with, with a customer in mind. So um, I came out and did a, you know, an in-home consultation. Typically we don't do that, but you know, um, being in that it was one of the bigger ones that I've done, I decided to come out and actually do um, a, a full-on type of hands-on approach. Um, that's not typical, but <laughs> we, we did it in this specific space. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what is around the room. We'll do a quick demo. We'll do it right after the intro. All right, guys, let's go ahead and show you around this space. Um, just up front, we're gonna have the 133 inch Ultra Weave 4K Dragonfly screen. This has the uh, bigger border on the sides, as you'll notice, but you also get the benefits of being acoustically transparent. And behind there, we have those THX KEF speakers for the left, center, and right, so you can't see them, but uh, they're definitely back there. So this gentleman just moved into this house. He had some old, uh, I think they're old Polk speakers, right? From before. And uh, now we went ahead and go ahead, we, we installed those speakers in the back, those THX KEFs. The drywall guy needs to come back and go ahead and patch that. But over here, we're gonna have another edition of KEFs. So these aren't the THX versions. But right here we have the in walls. These are the Q160Ls, and those are used for the, uh, the surrounds and also the rear surrounds. Up top you'll have the same model, but those are the in ceiling and those are the circular versions. So the reason why I suggested these KEFs is that they have the UniQ. So the UniQ, if, if you're not familiar with it, is you can be all the way over here and all the way over here, doesn't matter where you are in the room, you'll still get that exact same sound. So a lot of speakers, whenever you're listening to them, you kind of get like a beam of sound coming at you. So this one, it doesn't matter where you're at in the room, it gives you a nice flat response. So that was the main reason why I went ahead and chose those. So now for, this is a 7.2.4 system. Down here we have the dot two, which is gonna be a pair of the SB 3000s. And this is one, and this is the other one. We already did a few demos and uh, trust me guys, these things are definitely, definitely a, a, a room presence that you guys should definitely check out. Really enjoy these things. I've always recommended you guys try out SVS subs, but the 3000 share a really nice um, spot in my heart because they give you such value performance and just su such a small form factor. Typically those bigger subwoofers, they're huge, they're not innocuous, then you basically just have to beg the wife to have them in your room. These will blend right into anyone's, uh, any anyone's room very easily. So that explains the speakers. Up top, we have the Epson 6050, and then we have that on a drop-down pole as well. So now if you guys have these kind of like uh, vaulted ceilings, cathedral-type ceilings, then you can definitely get away with having, you know, your, your cake and eating it too by actually having it as uh, in the right position versus all the way up top with the included mount that's, that's with the 6050. So I really like this, this image. As you guys know that I had this one in my house until just recently. I am a wholehearted fan of Epson projectors and I am a big, big fan of the way this thing looks. And as I was talking about, we checked out those demos. They did, they did look incredible as well. So I think that's it. Besides the seats, we didn't talk about his uh, AVR, but he has these Diamante seats that he has uh, all snuggled up with his, his blankets already but it has these nice little bit of uh, diamond stitching on there. And I think he said these are from Seacraft. Yes. Seacraft seats, the Diamantes. In here we have his Denon controlling everything. And this is the 4100. So we got that right in here. And we have the entire system running off of the Harmony Elite. So one button press, you guys don't have to worry about it. And uh, as always, you can have this thing hidden in the closet. You never have to see it again. So, I mean, it works out really well, especially the way this, the size was designed for the screen. Because even if you open this door, even if we would have gone bigger, it kind of would have gotten in the way if you ever wanted to keep that open. Um, it would kind of get in the way of, of your viewing experience. Again, we're going to go ahead and replace this right here with the drywall repair because the speakers are behind the screen itself. So you never have to look at them. But I definitely think that the big old footprint of a 133 inch screen really helps out a lot, especially with the room presence that this, this system has. I think that the video matches the audio quality and I am just highly impressed with these Kef speakers up here. I'll go ahead and show you guys a quick demo, but uh, other than that, I think that's gonna conclude the overall quick review for you guys. Flame of Arnold! Dark Flame of Arnold!
All right, guys, I think that's going to conclude the quick overview of this quick little system that we did. Again, these are the KEF 7.1 correction, KEF 7.2.4 system. Really, really uh, enjoyed this overall system. I think it came together very, very well. Um, uh, besides the little minor aesthetics of doing the drywall repair, I think this room is, is aces all around. But uh, if you guys like the, the, the video, go ahead and leave a comment down below if you guys want any of this treatment in your house as well. I know we do a lot of clips. I specifically wanted to do more KEF stuff so that you guys get more exposure to it. I really, really enjoy that the way these things sound, and I think that you guys should too. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys uh, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a comment, like this video. And as always, if you guys wanna buy into this stuff, we're gonna go ahead and leave our information right down here. So you guys can go ahead and shoot us a call, give us an email, and we'll go ahead and be able to respond back to you and help you guys out as well. Big shout out to my, my buddy here um, that actually reached out directly to me and then we, we got this entire system put together. So if you guys want the same treatment, just go ahead and give us a call. That's it. I think that's all we have for today. Um, I think the last thing that I forgot to mention was the room size. I'm sure you guys were gonna ask anyway. So this is a 19 by 15 by 10. So that gives you a little bit of idea of what the room dimensions are. That's all I got for you guys. Make, <laughs> thanks for watching. Catch you next time.